after surgery, then what I tell my patients, they're going to leave the operating room in a bra. You, mm-hmm. you know, you'd leave in a bra. And then patients will come back the next day and we'll take the bra off, make sure that everything looks fine. Mm-hmm. The real risk of having any bleeding is within that first 24-hour period. Okay. And so that's really what we're looking for when you come back. Implants take a little while to settle. The first post-op visit is not a how good do I look type mm-hmm. visit. It's just I'm looking for problems. Right. Then you're going to stay in your bra and then... Uh, touch therapy. You know, you've right. heard me talk We've about touch about before. before yes. It's it's so important. Mm-hmm. Your nipples and your areola can really get on fire and become hypersensitive. Then usually patients feel pretty good by about three or four days after breast augmentation. And so then patients will want to know like, well, when can I get back to doing stuff? Usually at three weeks is when I'll let patients, if you wanted to run on a treadmill Mm. or do something like that, as long as you're wearing your recovery bra, which we have you wear for six weeks. Okay. After three weeks, you start your light activity. You'd already already be driving like a day four or Mm. something. And then after three weeks, you start start doing some light activity. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of ramp that up. And by six weeks, you can do anything you want. There's no limitations on your activity. You know, patients will ask me, well, can I wear an underbra, underwire bra? Because everyone says you can't. Mm-hmm. You can. Oh. I have no problem with patients wearing an underwire bra. Mm-hmm. I think it's actually probably a good thing mm-hmm. because, number one, it'll put some pressure along the incision. Okay. And we know from our research that silicone, massage, and pressure help scars. Mm-hmm. And so that'll help, help mm-hmm. with the scars. 